we realized that this was much bigger than one man, one office even. I have seen an email in a prior administration from the first assistant to another high level supervisor about how we know that there are these problematic officers involved in these cases. Let's hurry up and try to get guilty, please, without telling defense counsel about the problems. You're actually talking about an, an office dedicated to violating the Constitution, and, and we are not that. This was, you know, a unique opportunity to go deep into a municipal um, context where, you know, through through elected office, Krasner and his colleagues were really sort of trying to change the culture of an office and and reform what the prosecutor could be. And in order to understand what that is, you have to also understand the massive impacts that they've had historically on on driving mass incarceration and sort of building the public safety culture. Uh, you know, the sort of law and order culture that we've had for the last several decades. Most of our time was spent just walking around the building and meeting people and talking to them and creating relationships and listening to their perspective and their stories before the cameras even rolled. I hope that this eight hour series serves as a time capsule for this moment where we are and that people will look back at it in 20 years or 30 years or 50 years and say, look how far we've hopefully come. So it, the recognition means a lot.